Hi, I have a problem. Whenever I try to speak in English, my mind goes blank and I can't find the words I need. Hi there. Don't worry. That's a common challenge for language learners. Let's work on some practical tips to help you overcome this issue. That would be really helpful. It's so frustrating when it happens. I understand. First, take a deep breath and remind yourself that it's okay to make mistakes. Everyone faces this challenge at some point. Thanks for the encouragement. What can I do when my mind goes blank? When your mind goes blank, don't panic. Pause for a moment and try to relax. Take a deep breath to calm yourself. Uh, all right, uh, I'll try to stay calm. What's the next step? Try to describe what you want to say in simpler words. Don't worry about using complex vocabulary. Simple language can be just as effective. That makes sense. So I shouldn't aim for perfection. Exactly. The goal is effective communication, not perfection. Using simpler words is better than not being able to express yourself at all. Got it. But what if I can't even find simple words? If you are struggling, you can use filler words like um, well, or you know while you think. These give you a moment to gather your thoughts. That's a helpful tip. Um, how can I practice dealing with these issues? Practice is key. Try speaking in English every day, even if it is just to yourself. Describe your surroundings or Talk about your day. This helps your brain get used to thinking in English. Speaking to myself sounds a bit strange, but I'll give it a try. Can you give me some tips for building vocabulary? Certainly. Read regularly in English. Books articles, or even children's stories can expand your vocabulary. Whenever you come across a new word, write it down and practice using it. Reading more makes sense. I'll keep a list of new words, but what if I forget words during conversations? It's okay if you forget sometimes. Instead of getting stuck, try paraphrasing. Use different words to explain the same thing. This helps you keep the conversation going. Paraphrasing sounds like a good strategy. What about... When I'm talking with someone and I feel nervous. Nervousness can make your mind go blank. Practice speaking with a friend or family member in a relaxed setting. Gradually, you will feel more at ease. Practicing with someone I know sounds less intimidating. What else can I do? Use flashcards with English words on one side 
and their meanings on the other. Shuffle them and test yourself. This boosts your memory and helps you recall words faster. Huh, flashcards seem like a fun way to learn. How about learning phrases? Learning phrases is a great idea. Instead of focusing only on individual words, learn common phrases that native speakers use. This helps you speak more naturally. That's a smart approach. Can I use a dictionary while speaking? Using a dictionary in the middle of a conversation might disrupt the flow. It's better to make a note of words you don't know and look them up later. Noted. What should I do if I can't remember a word even after trying? If you are struggling to remember a word, you can describe the word's meaning or give examples of its usage. Your conversation partner might be able to help you find the word. That's a clever way to handle it. Are there any techniques to improve my overall speaking skills? Yes. Practice speaking about topics you are interested in. This keeps you engaged and motivated to talk. You can also watch English movies or videos to get used to different accents and speaking styles. Talking about topics I like sounds enjoyable. What can I do if I make mistakes while speaking? Mistakes are a natural part of learning. Don't let them discourage you. Focus on the progress you're making and keep practicing. Thank you for the encouragement. Can I get better at speaking even if I am shy? Absolutely. Start by speaking in low-pressure situations. You can practice with a language partner or join language exchange groups online. Gradually, you will become more comfortable. Joining a language exchange group seems like a good idea to overcome shyness. I'll try that. Any final advice? Remember, practice and patience are key. Don't be too hard on yourself. Every effort you make counts towards improving your English speaking skills. Thank you so much for your guidance and these practical tips. I feel more confident already. You are welcome. Keep up the good work and don't hesitate to ask if you have more questions. Happy learning! I will. Have a great day, teacher. You too. Keep practicing and enjoy your language journey.